Hey guys and welcome back to Josie's World. If you are new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to flock a Christmas tree. Now, my parents gave us a Christmas tree about two weeks ago and we were really lucky because we didn't have one and Christmas trees are really pricey nowadays, so, um, well, depending on the size that you want. And um, my husband is allergic to real trees. So, um, yeah, that was a bummer. Now we have to do artificial trees all the time. And um, one day we went to a store and we saw this tree that had that snow um, look to it. And we really, really liked it. So I went online um, to check to see if it was something that we could do to our Christmas tree so that I could have that look. There was something that you can purchase. So I purchased this thing called Snowflock. There are different brands out there. What I ended up doing was just buying um, a used one. And um, the reason why I did that was because they are kind of pricey and I needed to buy the Snowflock like right away so that my Christmas tree would be up like around this time. Um, so yeah, uh, we just got in the mail today, and I am super excited. Um, hopefully it turns out okay. I watched a couple of videos, and um, after we finish flocking the tree, I will show you guys how our Christmas tree is going to end up looking with all the decorations and stuff, so stay tuned for that. So some of the things that you will need to flock your tree is a strainer and a spray bottle. And in the spray bottle, you're going to add water. And I just got these two from the uh, the dollar store. Um, I think this will work because they didn't have the other type, the kind of like metal type strainer. So I ended up grabbing this one. And um, let me show you guys how the flock looks like. So my husband is going to add water to the tree first. You guys, before you flock your tree, I would recommend you guys to put like a towel or a blanket, something that you don't like anymore, because apparently it gets messy. Um, and I wasn't gonna put anything, because I could just sweep it up, but I just, I don't know. I just decided to put something. We have the strainer here. Sorry, the lighting is really bad here. You can see him, but you can't see me. <laughs> so you have your strainer. And here's the flock. Um, so I told you guys mine was used already. So I got one that hasn't been open and this one's been open. Um, my husband's going to do this because he is tall and I am short. So because the tree is pretty big, I'm just going in with the bag. Have a little bit and just put some more helping my husband out. have a huge Christmas tree do not do it inside of your house because it will leave a huge mess I try to clean up everything there is still white dust all over the house so yeah I recommend you guys do this outside I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to do it inside 